Hello guys In this video, I would like to share And tell about my study trip with my group mate Going for biology subject to the two places Which is the first one is Paya Indah Wetland And the second one is Taman Botani Putrajaya At the Paya Indah Wetland, we arrive at there in the morning And we're getting up inside the hall Listening to the briefing from Pai Indah Wetland staff and tell us about the regulation and also what can do and what can do inside there and also what activity you can do inside the Pai Indah Wetland and after that we going straight to the Buffalo Cage and uh, which is the instructor will tell us about the history where the buffaloes come from and then what type of food uh, the buffalo eat and then giving us the chances to feeding the buffaloes and after that we're going straight to the crocodile farm at the still the same the day instructor telling us what is the story about the crocodile where where they come from and what day what time they're giving feed to the crocodile then after settle up at the crocodile farm, we go. We heading to the special space, which is uh, were provided for us to do a replanting activities. Uh, so, uh, so the instructor we giving us for each group uh, three type of plan and giving us some chances to try by ourselves to do the replanting. And the instructor also teaches what type of soil we have to use for replanting and so, uh, after we finish all the replanting activity we're heading to the uh, food hall and enjoy our lunch and after that we are ready going to the Taman Botani Putrajaya
in this part, my group are setting up for practical 1 and practical 2 which is we're going to the practical 2 first because we want to setting up the quadrat and must have include in our quadrat two species of tree which is we select the first one is Artocarpus elasticus or we call it in Malay terap nasi and Neobalancus himi cengal For practical one, we have to collect 30 pieces of leaf and divide it into 3 sets which is 1 set have 10 leaf and we have to measure the length and width to take the data put inside the table and to calculate the standard deviation, variance and mean. Discuss the differences or similarity of the mean of length between different set of leaves. Do the same for the mean of the width. The experiment that we did is using three set of leaves and each set contains 10 pieces of leaf. The experiment has two types of variable which is its length and width. We calculate the data using variance, standard deviation and mean method. Based on the table, the mean of width for each set was not the same, which is for the set 1 is 6.03, for the set 2 6.28, and for the set 3 5.32. This difference number is normal because the growth of the plant. The upper of the plant may have smaller than the lower part. The leaf on top were exposed to sunlight and moving air, which can cause the rate of water loss increase. The experiment involves a few steps. First, the leaf must be gathered from the same plant and be roughly the same size. In order to avoid any errors, the leaf will measure using the proper significant features. Finally, utili utilize the instrument that are accurate. Question number two. What is meant by variance? The leaf have different measurement of width and length. And what is the meaning of this statement? Discuss with respect to variance. Variance defined as mean squared difference between each data point and the center of the distribution measured by the mean. The meaning of the leaf have different measurement of width and length is about the measurement of width and length on different stem. The leaf that we got are picked from randomly stem but from the same tree. The measurement is really different and we have taken the measurement for each leaf. According to the experiment, there were 3 sets of width 10 leaf for each set that we take. For the set 1, the total value for length R 186.8 cm and the width R 60.3 and for set 2 is 191 cm and for the width 62.8 cm and lastly for set 3 is 161.3 cm and width is 53.2 Moreover, the value of variance in length and width for set 1 is 5.9506 and 0.8694 and for set 2 are 2.0644 and 0.6284 and lastly for set 3 is 7.5846 and 1.8107 Shown that from the experiment, the value for length and width for the leaf are different measurements. It is important as a mean to view and understand the data being considered. 
The square root of the variance is used to calculate the standard deviation, a statistic that expresses how widely distributed a data set is in relation to its mean. By calculating the deviation for each data point from the mean, the standard deviation may be determined as the square root of variance. The bigger the deviation between the data collection, the further the data points deviate from the means, hence the higher the standard deviation, the more dispersed the data. Question number 3. Why is it necessary to have different sets of measurement for the measurement of leaf width and length? The answer is, it is necessary to have variable set of measurement for the measurement of leaf width and length because the goal of measurement is to get valuable data with which to answer research question and assess theories of change. Inaccurate measurement can lead to unreliable data from which it is difficult to draw valid conclusions.